power went out at work. This is like the second time it's happened in like two weeks. Hello, it's already Wednesday. I haven't vlogged a lot. Um, not much has been going on, you know, just kind of trying to, I don't know, live life, you know. Um, the only exciting thing that's happened is I had my first ballet class, which was really fun. It was very immersive. Um, I wouldn't say it was the most beginner friendly class, but I already signed up for my next one, so obviously it was pretty good. I don't know, I've been feeling very, how do I describe? I don't know, I've been watching these like creative videos on YouTube, you know, it's like, it's the same energy as like hustle um, culture videos, but for like creatives where they talk about like work ethic and like getting out of your head and like creating art and sometimes it f they feel very inspiring, um, and other times they feel discouraging, um, and I don't know, and now I've just been watching Lara's videos, Lara, how do you say it? Lara Violeta, I'm not sure, I'm sorry, girl, I love your videos, I love you, you're amazing, um, but I've been watching her videos and just seeing her, like, I don't know, her mind, is amazing she's so creative she is constantly inspired she's constantly like picking up new things and trying on new things and just the way that she works with like style and makeup I just think is so incredible and I just wish I could be like that you know I think sometimes I feel like I have all the ingredients to like be a good artist and be good at something but I just don't know how to use the ingredients, I don't know how to cook, and I just throw things together and it's not good. Or I just like don't even try because I am too overwhelmed and um, yeah, overwhelmed I think is the right word. So yeah, I don't know, I just really, I don't know, I'm kind of in the, that, that space, right? feel like I really want to like dive in and work on something, work on something creative, make something, but I don't know what. And, and I think what I was starting to like realize is that maybe I just don't have a message. And I think that's super frustrating where it's like, I feel the need to make something, but I have no message. And that's why there's no backbone. There's no structure. There's no support. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I feel very paralyzed in my creative endeavors. Yeah, I don't know, I'm, I, I am very jealous of people like Laura that like, can use their mind so effectively, and because of that are, are presented with such incredible opportunities, I just wish I could do that. I pray... I beg of the universe that that's something that I will be able to do, but I'm finding it very difficult. I just don't, I don't know. I do have something fun to unbox. Um, I'm so excited. I was hoping that I would get this as like a birthday or a Christmas gift. That never happened, so of course I just have to suck it up and do it myself sometimes you just want I don't know like I just want people to buy me gifts like I don't think that's not normal but it never happens so I just have to buy myself stuff I've wanted this for so long I regret when there was signed copies and I did not buy one. I could have afforded it. Like, it was fine, but I convinced myself that I couldn't afford it. I could have. It would have been fine. Oh my god. You may or may not know, I love Sofia Coppola. I mean, it's 
like it's it tracks right like it makes sense like of course I love Sofia Coppola so I'm so excited oh it's like paperback I thought it was a hard back cover maybe I bought a different one look how beautiful Speaking of people that like inspire me, people I wish I could be like, like she just has such a strong vision, such a strong and cohesive vision for all of her projects. It's, it's amazing. This picture of her office is literally my computer background. Hello, it is Friday. It's only like 9.47 and I'm ready to go. Ready to go. Um, no one else in my department is here. Just me today. I'm excited to do nothing today. Today is my do nothing day. I want to relax. I want to relax. Um, tomorrow, I have plans for a big day, and that means I have Pilates in the morning, and then I want to go look at magazines. Those are my big plans. Um, but I'm just ready for today to be over. I'm absolutely crushed and devastated because I thought I had the apartment to myself tonight, and I don't, so I was so sad. I was really hoping that I could like hang out in the living room and watch my movie, but alas. It never gets released. It just... Hello, it's Saturday. I haven't vlogged. Um, I had a 9 a.m. Pilates class, which was fine. Um, then I went to Barnes & Noble to pick up. I saw there was a few magazines that I wanted, but I only found two. Um, Nylon is back in print. I'm so excited, so picked that up. And then I also saw this one. I've always been a Zane girl, so picked that up as well. I grabbed a muffin. And then, what else have I done? I had to drop off some film. And then I went to the thrift store, which I shouldn't have done. But I'm waiting until my roommate leaves for work so that I can clean in peace, take a shower, and you know, just like relax and unwind. I'm so hungry. as a gift. Repotted these. I hope they don't die on me. And then I potted this one for my grandma. The leaves are a little yellow. I'm hoping it does not die because um, it's her birthday this weekend so it's gonna be part of her gift. And then I also clipped a few more for my mom. We're at Sonic again. I just kind of had to leave the house. I was feeling overwhelmed and claustrophobic. So I'm at Sonic and I'm gonna get food because I'm hungry. I don't know. I've been feeling very alone these days. And the thing is, it, I, it's not that I just like feel alone, it's I am. I'm literally alone. I keep thinking about how I want to like buy my own place here, but every time I think about it, I think about how I have absolutely no one here. Like I've been here for five years and I've not managed to make one friend. 
and I don't know how to do it. I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's just difficult to do. I don't know. I haven't made one relationship that feels significant and something that could last. Sometimes I feel like guilty. Not even guilt. I don't know what the feeling is. Sometimes I feel like maybe the girls that like found a husband knew the cheat code and it's like they have someone but it's like that's not what I want I don't want a boyfriend I, I want I want friends I want girlfriends but that's so hard to do now that I'm nearly 30 because literally every girl my age mostly woman my age <laughs> is either married or in a committed relationship and friendships just aren't the same when people are in relationships. I saw a TikTok about this and she was totally right. She was 100% right about like making friends with other, with other people who like have a boyfriend. Like it's not, they don't prioritize friendships the same way and that's not what I'm looking for. I just feel so alone because I am late and I think about this sometimes when like I'm gonna talk to my therapist and I get really excited and it's because like sometimes I literally like confuse her for a friend because she's the only person that I have that I can consistently talk to like I've replaced friendship and community with therapy because I don't have friendships or a community I think that my like lack of friendships and community combined with my lack of feeling purpose um, is really doing a number on me right now. I really, I feel like I don't have a purpose. I understand why people, why people have kids now. Because I think it's, I understand that having someone that needs you and having someone rely on you, something rely on you, um, feels like you have a purpose. It gives you a sense of purpose. Oh, this guy just dropped his food, bless his heart. Yeah, I just don't know how I've managed to live here for five years and not make one friend. Not one friend that I can like call to talk or to just go see a play, go see a movie. Not one friend that can pick up my mail, like not one friend that we can go shopping, just hang out, nothing. I have no one. The thing is like that wouldn't change if I moved back home either. And I know that like people, it feels like people don't have the time for me. Like I am not a priority. And I get that because they have other priorities, like their jobs, their boyfriends, their husbands, their families. Um, but that just kind of hurts for me because it's like, I don't see myself having a family or a husband. So like, where does that leave me? What do I have? Like, is this going to be my entire life? Am I going to feel like this my entire life? I just want some friends. So instead of having a friend to talk to, I'm at Sonic. <laughs> because I can't even have, like, I can't even feel comfortable in my own home. So I told you guys I went thrifting yesterday. So I never showed you what I got, so. First thing I got is this little top. It's like a little white top sleeve. How do I show this? It's cute, I promise. I got this like MTV shirt. I don't know. I thought it was cute, like, good for casual wear. I liked it. I got this skirt. I think it's a perfect, just like. I have one like mini, mini, midi esque skirt, and I wear it a lot, so I think it'll be good to have another one in rotation. This loft skirt, very cute, very neat. 
I got this free people like tunic. I thought it was also nice for like casual. These I'm pretty excited about. I was kind of looking for denim wash shorts because I don't have any shorts for their spring. And I saw these. They're a goldie. And they're they look like my size. They're 29. I hope they fit. But I was not gonna say no to some a goldie shorts for five dollars. So I hope they fit. Last but very much not least, I got this new with tags, Chico's belt. It's pretty thick with this very cool buckle. I think that's pretty amazing. I'm very excited. That's all I got. I think it's a good haul. I look terrible. Um, I've cried, not because I just had therapy, but because I'm dealing with my damn health insurance that doesn't want to give me my birth control. <laughs> um, like, it should be covered. It should be. But apparently this brand is not covered. And I literally need it by Friday. And they don't want to give it to me unless, you know, it's $400, which... Be so for real. Like, for what? And it's not just, like, like I need this specific brand because of my endometriosis. It's really the only thing that, like, controls the pain. And just the thought of, like, having to deal with that immense pain brings me to tears. Because I, I, I would not be able to handle it. Like, this is the only thing that's, like, made my life somewhat normal. And the fact that people, like, I feel like everyone that I'm calling is just like, it's just birth control, like, you don't, like, why are you making such a big fuss about it? It's because it keeps me from being in excruciating, debilitating pain. That's why. But yeah, I'm having major issues. I just hate health insurances in general, but mine specifically that I've had to switch over to because of my job is like, so, and I'm just so tired of people being like, it's not that bad, really, because like I can't really, I can't even get like simple birth control. That's all I need. Like I'm not asking for like opioids, <laughs> birth control, that's it. So it's already past five and apparently all their offices close after five. Um, so I have to call tomorrow and I have a feeling I'm just like not going to get this by the time that I need it. And I'm going to be in immense pain. I'm currently editing this vlog. And I just want to talk about something. I feel like I hold back talking about my appearance. And I don't, you know, no, I don't. I don't. I don't hold back. Because I think it's important to talk about. It's so difficult sometimes to, like, edit myself. Because it's difficult for me to look at myself. Like, it's so... I just pick out every single thing that's wrong with me and the thing is it's not that's not hard to do like i'm so confused i literally am re-watching footage and i'm just so confused as to why one side of my face looks so different from the other i've also been getting these like myo what are they called myofunctional therapy tiktoks and part of me is like is this real or is this just like a scam because Every single person they talk about has like some myofunctional issue. It's like, does anyone not? Anyway, according to like myofunctional therapy or whatever, I would definitely have issues because like symmetry off, nose crooked, definitely have issues with breathing, just bad. But anyway, it's just so frustrating. Like I, like why do I look the way that I look? It's incredibly frustrating. I have no jaw. Look at that. Oh. Oh my god. Like, is there something that I can do to fix this? Part of me feels like it's some sort of jaw issue. That's why my face is so, like, not symmetrical. Like, these are completely too different. Like, sometimes I'm like, do I just have disproportionate fat? But at the same time, I'm like, no, this has to be, like, bone structure. Anyway, I'm sure you guys don't care, but I care. And having to, like, 
edit myself and seeing myself from so many different angles is so it's difficult <laughs> like I hate it I really I wish there was something I could do to fix this it's like I don't have the money to ask a doctor what's wrong with me it's like why like you obviously see this right like you see the difference I know I have a deviated septum. I know that's why my nose is crooked. I just can't afford to get it fixed. I would love to get a nose job. But a nose job is all I've wanted for the past 15 years of my life. I had braces. My teeth should be fine. My jaw should be fine. Do I wear my retainers? No, I should have been given a permanent retainer. Is it my jaw? Like, what is happening here? Recessed jawline. Lips. Small. Like, I think just, like, <laughs> the asymmetry of, like, here is, like, really bothering me. Is my jaw crooked? Someone tell me. I made an impulsive purchase. I'm like shaking still from like hauling this up the stairs. My roommate helped me. She was such an absolute trooper. And I'm like shaking and it triggered my asthma. <laughs> Getting this was an absolute nightmare, but it's here. So I'm gonna try to put it together. Isn't she lovely, beautiful? Hello? Uh-oh.